several Romney advisors have uh, told Huffington Post, we're going to win. <laughs> the reporter says, it was said more like, we're going to win. <laughs> Now, no matter how they said it, they've been all over TV, whether it's Carl Rove or Dick Morris or all the Fox News guys saying, oh, hell yeah, no question, we're going to win this thing. Unless, of course, we lose, in which case we have plenty of excuses. Uh, in fact, Hurricane said, we were going to win, but then the hurricane came along. Joe, take it away. I have heard from Republicans that are very close to Mitt Romney, that are tied in that campaign, uh, and some have actually said said it publicly that this election froze in place their momentum two three days. You're right. There are plenty of Republicans close to the Romney campaign who are saying basically, if we lose this, it'll be because of the storm. We'll never know. There's no way to tease that out. But they, but there are plenty of them who believe that that could have been the moment in which the election was decided and by, by blotting out their momentum. Well, they're not the only ones who think that. Well, a lot of Republicans have gone on the right. That's Sandy. And then plus that Christie guy trying to save his state out there with Obama saying the president was doing a good. Damn it. We, we would have won if it wasn't for those dastardly storms. In fact, here they are. The hurricane is what broke Romney's momentum. I actually do believe Sandy has had an effect. If there's been a momentum change, it's because of the hurricane. The fact of the storm took the subject matter of Mitt Romney's closing statement, sort of snuffed that out. I think he got a hurricane bump out of this. Nothing was stopping Romney's momentum. It forced the president for a couple days to act and look presidential. What happened is the news media absolutely blacked out any coverage of the issues that have been the issues of this campaign. The robust embrace from Chris Christie. He literally slobbered over the president. Okay, those wet kisses from, from uh, Governor Christie. Uh, he didn't simply extend a hand. Uh, he embraced this president. And I'm not blaming the news media. Except it looks like you kind of are. So you know that they know they're in trouble when the excuses start before the election. I, don't, I mean, we, we would have won, and the country would have loved conservatives and would have elected a conservative president, except for that dastardly storm. And uh, we could have, would have, should have, but it was all Christie hugging Obama too tight and Sandy with the storm that was too much. Oh, golly gee. Now, why did they say all that stuff? So, number one, just like they were throwing Mitt Romney under a bus when it looked like he had no chance of winning. Uh, before the debates began, because they want to say it wasn't us, it wasn't the Republican Party, it wasn't the conservative ideology, it was X, Y, or Z, it was Romney was a bad candidate, oh, we had a storm right before the election, oh, the dog ate my homework, all these different excuses they're throwing out there. No, 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 they're not going to vote for you guys because they don't like you guys. All right, how do you explain the fact that Obama got 365 electoral votes the last time? That's because you destroyed the country when you ran it for eight years. And people saw, oh my God, this is what happens when Republicans are in charge. Which goes to the most important point. Now think about why President Obama got a bump, if he got a bump from Hurricane Sandy. Which is that people remembered, oh right, we need competent people in charge of the government who actually believe in the core function of the government. And we remember what happened under Republicans when we had a hurricane. It was an epic disaster, literally. And you had guys who thought, nah, government, who needs it? Federal government doesn't need to help. And you know what? They didn't help. And now when you have a Democratic president who cares and who's competent, when you need him, well, he helps you, right? Because that's the Democratic ideology. Now, I got a lot of issues with President Obama, but he handled this, right? And he's on that side of the equation. So if the storm hurt, the electoral chance of the Republicans, well, you had it coming. Because you argued against climate change, you argued against uh, the effective federal government. In fact, Mitt Romney said we shouldn't even have FEMA at the federal level, that it should be even given to the states where you would have tr enormous trouble coordinating, or it should be privatized. Well, it's not the American people's fault. It's not some sort of freak or uh, freakish accident that caused you to lose. It's because you had the wrong ideology. And it was exposed before the elections. And of course, well, if all our predictions on TV about how Romney's going to win turn out to be wrong, well, later we'll come back and say, we had it right until the hurricane. Otherwise, we were geniuses.